Blizzard broke StarCraft 2 yet again with another patch. For the past few weeks, we've been playing with Colossus at range 10, which was a bug. It increased the range of Colossus by 3 with Extender Thermal Lens instead of 2, and we were playing with a Colossus that had range 10 instead of range 9. They finally fixed this in this patch. Congratulations, Blizzard. It only took you way too long. They also didn't fix a minor bug where the Prismatic Alignment Voidray with speed is slower than a Prismatic Alignment Voidray without speed. Now you can see two voids moving around, the top one doesn't have the speed, the bottom one has speed. You can clearly see the bottom one is faster, but when you turn on the prismatic alignment, the top void ray is slightly, slightly faster than the bottom one with speed upgrade. So this is a minor bug that is still out there. It's not game breaking, but it is kind of annoying when the void ray with speed upgrade is slower than the one without speed. And a new game breaking bug appeared with this new patch. I think it's far more impactful than the than Colossus range that we were playing with before or the prismatic alignment void ray being uh, slower than the one without speed because you cannot cancel shield batteries as a Protoss. You just can't cancel it, there's simply no button right there. So while Protosses were happy to play with the 10 Colossus range, this time it affects us in the most negative way possible. Let me give you some examples why this is very bad. Example number one, it is very frequent in Protoss vs Protoss to block the Adept shading in with a shield battery. Because it builds for a long time, the Adepts don't really kill the shield batteries quickly enough. So you build it with a battery and then block the two Adept Shades with one single battery. Once the Shade finishes or the opponent cancels the Shade, you can cancel the battery and then move on with your life. However, you cannot do it this time. What you have to do right now is to either block your wall off with a pylon, which is possible, of course, it's not that much of a difference, but the pylon builds faster than the battery. So most of the time, you cannot block in two Shades if your opponent is timing it out right. You have to cancel the pylon faster than the shades expire. So the adepts get in. Or you have to complete the pylon, which is mostly what you don't want to do. Or of course you can use a big building to, can, to block it with a cybernetic score gateway or something. But it is of course far more costly. It costs 150 minerals and the cancel itself also costs a little bit more. Which is not ideal. You don't want to do that. Example number two. In Protoss vs Zerg, most of the time you take your third base with minimal amount of units. You create a battery and a pylon to make a kind of a wall off to block the Zerglings in. What it looks like most of the time is the Zerglings are going to be attacking the Adepts and the battery kind of split. And then I can cancel the shield battery to gain the resources back from the shield battery. But in this instance, I cannot cancel the shield battery and I lose the fight, losing even more minerals than I would lose otherwise. So I cannot get the minerals back from the shield battery and cannot use it as a tanking building. Theoretical example number three, you're seeing a Terran player proxying a barracks. So you think this is probably a proxy Reaper, could be a proxy Marines, could be proxy Marauders. So you create a shield battery in the main base of your mineral line. Now, you scout that there's not a proxy Reaper, but like a proxy Marauder or proxy Marines. You don't want this shield battery in your mineral line main base, but in the natural base or at the front. What you cannot do, you cannot cancel this shield battery, you cannot defend yourself with the most amount of minerals available, so the shield battery stays, not only interrupting your probes mining as well, but also just getting the 100 minerals drained from your economy. Example number 4. You want to defend a big attack from the right side. For some reason you see your opponent attacking from the right side, so you create a lot of batteries from this side. Your opponent is going to see the batteries. Okay, there's going to be a lot of defense. You cannot cancel these batteries, even though your opponent is retreating, the attack is not going to happen. These batteries are going to finish. What the opponent can do, they just go from the left side. Since you cannot attack, the, you cannot cancel these batteries, they're not going to be helping. So just go through the left. Or just another location. Another small example could be happening that your opponent is pretending that they're going to be attacking. You create a lot of batteries, let's say from all different angles, so you don't want to be surprised from the attack. But the attack never happens. You were mind gained, you were fooled by the by the potential of an attack. You cannot cancel these batteries, even though you were supposed to be expecting an attack, or a queen walk, or, or whatever kind of attack that is going to happen. You need to invest into the shield batteries completely. There's no cancel button, so it's very, very bad in my opinion. These are only a few examples in the game, and I think there are going to be even more instances where this bug is going to happen. Blizzard, please fix it faster than the Colossus range.